Going on to the next topic, it is solving systems of linear equation by graphing. It is in part one, topic six. Before we start, let us look into these three cases. This is very important, consistent and inconsistent. So now before we see these cases, let's talk about the word consistent and inconsistent. Consistent means having solution. It may be one, two or infinite. Whereas inconsistent means without solution. So now these two lines over here do not touch each other. So that means they are inconsistent. Whereas over here they are touching each other at every point because they are the same line. Therefore, there are infinite solution. It's consistent. Over here you can see only one point it will touch and it will never touch each other again. So it's consistent with one solution. Now, when there is only one solution, they are, these lines are independent. They do not need each other other than this point. So they are in their separate ways or you can call them independent. Whereas when they are the same line, they are dependent of each other because they are the same line. So consistent independent is one solution intersecting only at one point. Whereas dependent consistent independent is infinite solution because they are same line. And lastly, inconsistent means parallel lines. They will never touch each other. So there is no solution. Now we will start solving. Since this is in the part one, you will have MCQs for this problem. You will have four options. So you can do it in various methods. I will tell you one of the easiest method. Instead of graphing and then solving, you can easily try and solve this up. Now, first thing, if you're using the calculator method, you must remember you need to know the standard formula to solve this in calculator. These are simultaneous equations. There are two equations. Now, if you press more, equations are given at option 5. That is option 5 gives the equation. And you can see the option 1. It is ax plus by equals c. And I'll write it over here. It's ax plus by equals c. That's constants. Now, x is the x term and a is the coefficient. Coefficient means anything before that. Then y is the y term and anything before that. That's the coefficient of y. And the c is numbers. So now let me first solve a easy problem, say for example, which is already over here. Say now this one. It is in the standard form, the sixth problem. So 3 is a. And in the second equation, there's nothing that means it's 1. When you multiply 1 with anything, it's the same. So we don't write 1, it's just x. Okay. So now we will just put in the values. From mode, it's from mode, phi is equation, and option number 1. Because all the others do not correspond to this particular question. So you can see it's cubic, quadratic, or you need to have z term. But only the option 1 is suiting this particular problem. So it's 1. So the coefficient of x, first is x, that is 3. Then y, it's negative 1. And lastly, right of equal to sign is the number, that's 2. And over here we have 1, again 1, and lastly 6. So now over here we got a solution. See, x is 2 and y is 4. What it means is, it's 2, 4. So the graphs, if you graph them, they, they will intersect at one particular point that is 2, 4. That is the solution region. So you can see there is one number of solution and these are consistent because there is solution and they are independent. That is the answer. So without graphing just by the calculator, you can solve it up. And over here in this case, you must make sure that you will write it in the standard form. Say for example, take this 3x to the other side. You will have 3x it will become minus, subtract 3x on both the sides, plus y equals, there is nothing over here, so it's 0. And over here, take the 3x to the other side, it will be positive 3x plus y equals 2. Now, we can just put it over here, more 5 and 1, and it will be minus 3, 1, 0, 3, 1, and 2. And the answer is 1 by 3rd and 1. It doesn't matter. You don't need to know the answer. It's just that you're getting a solution. That means over here, it is one solution and it's consistent and independent. 
but now what if they are infinite or it is no solution say for example inconsistent uh, let me first solve for this one over here like say infinite over here even the second one you should just arrange it in the standard form and then solve it up now the fifth one it's already arranged i'll just put the values in one two and five over here it's three minus fifth sorry here x coefficient is three the six y must be brought inside and 15 goes to the other side based on the standard form so it'll be plus six and lastly we have 15 now in some of the computer calculators they might give you infinite solution as it is but some just give you a syntax error or sorry math error so whenever you get math error there can be two cases it can be either infinite solution or no solution so how do we find it now whenever you get a math error please simplify your equations just simplify them so here it is already simplified there is no coefficient so just simplify the first equation second sorry second equation i'll write it in the standard form 3x plus 6y equals 15 now this can be divided by 3 so both the sides you need to divide 3 so you can split this because it's plus you're remaining with x because 3 and 3 cancels x plus 2y equals 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now look at the above equation and this particular equation. They are the same equation. That means it's the same line. And we know for same line, we will have infinitely many solutions. And it's consistent and dependent. From the uh, over here, the three cases, the same line means the same equation, isn't it? It's consistent and infinite solution. That's the answer. Now what about inconsistent where there's no solutions let us solve this in calculator also quickly mode 5 1 and all you need to do is put in the coefficients and 6 2 and 10 and again in some calculators they show you it's no solution but others they will tell you math error so then over here as well please simplify the equation just the below equation 6 uh, 6x plus 2y equals 10 because you can't simplify this it's already one so you won't be able to simplify this one this can be simplified divide everything by 2 why 2 because you need to make this as simple as possible and 2 is divisible in all and over here it will be 3 this cancels and over here it's 5 so the final equation would be 3x plus y equals 5 now look at these two equations the x coefficient this is the slope it's same okay that means it is parallel lines the slopes are same but you can see the equations are not same so you're getting in calculator you're getting a math error and over here when you simplify the equations you are not getting the same equation you're getting different values at the constants that means the y intercept at one equation is at phi and one more is at minus two so if you graph this you will get line something like this sorry it will be negative slope it will be downwards the graph would be something like this you can just graph it this will be touching phi and this will be minus 2. You can try it by graphing. But now the easier method would be just try it in calculator. If you get a math error, simplify the equations and see if the equations are same. Then that means it's infinitely many solutions. But if the equations are different, then it's zero solutions and inconsistent. So that is how you can solve. Over here, you can do the same thing. But over here, in this case, they have asked you to solve the system of equations. That's it. You need to, you know, find the answers. So it's very simple again. Whatever we just did, not, uh, we did just now. Over here, make sure you have it in the standard form. That is ax plus by equals c. Now over here, xy is in the standard form. The first equation is in standard form. So I'll write 1 minus 2 and 0. The next one, take this 2x to the other side or subtract both the sides by minus 2x subtract both the sides by 2x it'll become minus 2x 
plus y equals minus 3. And one important thing, remember x always must be first. Okay, you can see over here in the mode phi, in the first option, x is first, then comes y. So x is first, then it's y, and then the constant. So x first, y, and then lastly, the constant. So the answer is 2 and 1. So this is how we can easily solve. And if at all, you will not get any solution, a like math error, then solve, simplify this. And if at all, they are the same equations, then that means it's infinite solutions. Whereas if you don't get a same equation, that means it's no solution. Please try it by yourself and then check for the answers.